This is a Bells of Steel safety squat bar. Jax and I are going to give you our initial impressions. So I just pulled this in off the porch about 20 minutes ago. It, uh, I bought this on Black Friday, I guess the Saturday after Black Friday, whenever they released it. Um, I was pretty excited about this. And I'll give you a little background. Um, as far as safety squat bars go, there are some problems. So the best option in the market has been the Elite Fitness SS Yoke Bar, which this looks nearly identical to, right? The problem is that bar retails for $400. Sometimes you can get it for like $330, but then Elite Fitness's shipping is astronomical. So you're going to pay $400 bucks plus to get that bar shipped to your house. And that bar has axle sleeves. So they are smaller than standard uh, Olympic sleeves. So you have to have special collars. If you don't have other axle bars, that's just a pain in the ass. You got the hiccups? Anyway, uh, Titan Fitness recently came out with a clone of that bar that was, again, very similar to this bar, except it was all finished, the sleeves and everything, in aesthetic chrome, which is shitty. So that sort of really crummy, low-end, flaky chrome that you find on $50 barbells. That was the finish uh, on the Titan bar. And I think if this hadn't come out, I still would have bought that because it was... $180 shipped, um, and the Elite Fitness one is twice as much money, and it's powder-coated, so it chips too. Um, so let's start with the shipping, because one of the things that a lot of these cheaper companies are not known for is uh, good shipping methods. This one, I'm not quite sure how to rate, because I don't know if the fault lies more with Bells or more with UPS. So, I will say this shipped about two days after I bought it, which is reasonable. It took another week to get it, but that's just because it's the holiday season and UPS is busy. So, no real concerns there. However, this box set up, I'm not so sure about. So, this appears to be just one full-length box that got busted at one point. So apparently there's a stress point here, and then UPS taped this again. When I bought, the, or when I picked it up off the porch, the end of the barbell was hanging out of this corner and was not protected by anything, or the end of the sleeve, rather, was hanging out of the end of that corner of the box. Um, and it had clearly been dropped by the package handlers. And I'll show you the result of that. So we have a noticeable divot here and here. It's a flat spot. Also, when you rotate the sleeve, it stops. This is a really stiff point here. It'll rotate through it, but it doesn't rotate freely. It's got a sticking point in it. So that may be due to the dent of the sleeve. It may be due to something that's going on up here. Um, these are kind of strange sleeves. They don't have an exposed bearing that you can see. So you might have to take that off and see what that, uh, that's all about. Anyway, uh, so I'll probably get a hold of Bells and have them send me another sleeve. I'm sure that they won't have a problem doing that, and then I can just swap this out. Not super concerned about that. Um, so other oddities relative to the other bars in the market. So the Elite Fitness Bar has Olympic sleeves. The Titan Bar, or excuse me, the Elite Fitness Bar has axle bar sleeves. So you have to have special collars. The Titan Bar has Olympic sleeves, but they are not rotating sleeves. And again, they're coated in shitty aesthetic chrome that's going to flake off. This, as you have already seen, has rotating sleeves, and they appear to be just a bright zinc finish. Um, 
They're very light duty feeling. So the wall thickness here is really thin as compared to the wall thickness on this American Barbell Power Bar. And I don't know how much of a concern that is necessarily, but it just kind of feels cheap. Uh, but hey, it is cheap. So as long as it holds the plates, I'm not super concerned about it. I'm not deadlifting with it, so it doesn't necessarily have to support itself and deal with impact or anything like that. The other part of the finish is that this is a black zinc finish, and you can see that there's a chip here and a chip here and a bigger chip here, and there's some scraping and missing finish here. So this is all a brand new bar. I took it out of the box, you know, literally 10 minutes ago. So I'm not super thrilled with that. Especially considering, so let me take these handles out here. Again, this is a brand new bar. And you can see that this has got rust all over it. It's already corroded. Now, a big reason I bought this bar instead of the Titan bar, because this is actually a more expensive bar than the Titan bar, is that um, it has this black zinc finish as opposed to that aesthetic chrome. So the aesthetic chrome tends to corrode pretty easily, and I am not somebody who likes having rusty shit in my gym. And that's why all these old plates have been vinegar dumped, vinegar dunked and uh, painted. So we've got a little corrosion going on here. I, again, it, I'll probably just sand it off and paint these. These are not a wear area, so I'm not overly concerned. I am more concerned about this, although the J-hooks have got uh, UHMW plastic, so it's probably fine, and this is in the house, so uh, these little scuffs are probably no big deal. Another sort of weird thing about this bar is that if you can see the angle of these J-cups right now, they're cockeyed in. And the reason for that is that the camber here, so there's the bend here and then on the other side, is, con is close enough together that it doesn't fit in this rack perfectly. It's fine. It's not a problem. Um, this is an, a Rogue RML 390F. So this is a 3x3 three three rack if you had a... Uh, an R3 or anything with a 3x2 construction, I'm sure it would fit that just fine. Uh, it still functions in here, so I'm really not concerned. Um, so let's also talk about... The other reason I bought this bar is the camber angle. So if you can see, I'm sort of forcing this right now to be straight up and down at this camber you can see that the handles are forward. And the angle between this cam or this angle and here, that distance is 22 degrees. It's not a distance, but you know what I mean. 22 degrees. That is the same camber angle as the Elite Fitness bar, and it is the same camber angle as the Titan bar. That is important because the camber angle is what produces the balance of the bar. So when this is riding on your shoulders, if, like Bell's original uh, safety squat bar, if this axis is in line with this axis, so the handles are in line with the camber, then that means that when the when the when it sits on your shoulders at about that angle, the weight would be up here. So it would be cocked forward more, which means that you're pushing the weight further forward, which means that it's harder to balance, you're pushing yourself um, more forward, and you have to fight to stay upright more. Um, this already does that enough. You don't need more camber to do that. This, as it rides on your shoulder, is cambered forward of the center of the bar. So this is, this is correct. This is the correct camber angle. 
The other reason I like this bar, as opposed to anything else on the market, is this pad design that, again, is an Elite Fitness um, original idea. And then, well, whoever makes it for Elite Fitness, they don't make their own bar. But this is a large one-piece um, carpet pad that surrounds the neck completely. It's not three different sections, and it's not a thin little piece of shit that digs really hard um, into your back. Now, you may be thinking, well, I squat with a regular bar, and it has no padding whatsoever. I can't, I don't necessarily understand why this is. Maybe it has to do with the fact that normally this is sitting not just here, but it's sitting all across either your traps or your your rear delts if you're in the low bar position. So you've spread the surface area out and it rides on the muscle bellies. This is not something you're going to squat in the low bar position, traditionally speaking. And if you have one of those th short little pads that's a central pad, you've condensed all of the weight into one small bit of surface area that rides on your spine. It's extremely uncomfortable. So these are very comfortable bars. Um, now, the Elite Fitness pad design is a little different. It's got two pads, two layers. This and the Titan bar are one layer. So this is kind of a squishy foam. It's not a foam. It's a, uh, well, I guess it's a foam. It's very much like a carpet pad. It's, I can't completely compress it. Um, it's reasonably soft but it's, uh, it seems like it's got really good structural integrity. So I think that this is going to serve the purpose just as well. Uh, you'll hear Dave Tate talk about how, the, how the, the pad design breaks in over time so that it starts to become U-shaped here and conform to how it sits on your neck. I have a feeling this is going to do exactly the same thing. So, um, yeah. Should you buy this bar? Well, the retail price is $250. They had it on sale for $199, and, and that's $250 with free shipping anywhere in the States. And then if you happen to live in Indianapolis, where their warehouse is, you can go pick it up, and that saves you 10%, um, which is $20. So I just paid to have it delivered because I didn't want to drive all the way to their warehouse for $20. Um, although the hassle with UPS probably would have been better off to go ahead and go get it. Yeah, see this sleeve that didn't appear to be dropped doesn't have any sticking points on it. So this is better. It probably needs lubrication. It, I, I feel like there's no grease in this whatsoever, just the way it feels and the way it sounds. It's also got a lot of slop in it. That movement and it's loud but again it's it's a two hundred dollar safety squat bar i'm just trying to give you a realistic picture of what it's like uh, as it's new on the market anyway should you buy this bar i would say definitely over the titan fitness bar and the reason for that being the better finish uh, especially with the sleeves. I would not want an aesthetic chrome on the sleeves because that's just going to get the shit beat out of it. Where this is, like I said, it's either a zinc or it's a... This may even be a raw aluminum finish. These feel like aluminum. Uh, yeah, these might be aluminum. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in that. I'm pretty sure the sleeves are aluminum. Anyway... Um, so the camber angle's right, the price is right, the shipping's right, the pad's right, uh, the finish is right, and the only nitpicky problems I have are a little bit of corrosion starting in some areas. The fact that it on a 3x3 three three rack doesn't isn't just a hair too short to completely fit in the rack. And um, that's pretty much it. Potentially shitty packaging. I also, here, let me show you the packaging again, how it actually sits in here. 
Um, so it comes, everything's all put together except the, the handles aren't in it. You have to thread the handles in, which takes two seconds. So this is where the sleeve rides. So there's one of these in each end. And then there's basically nothing in the middle. There's that piece of foam sort of sits in the middle between the two um, sections of the shoulder pad. So it's reasonable. I wish they would have put some sort of cap on the ends to protect uh, the end caps, or the ends of the sleeves. But realistically, this seems like an awesome bar. It's rated at 1,500 pounds, so you're never going to break it. Um, and especially for a home gamer. In fact, I actually would recommend this over the Elite Fitness Bar because you're going to pay twice as much money, and this is better. You don't have ex you don't have to have axle bar collars to keep your plates on this, and the sleeves rotate. So if you're doing good mornings or uh, maybe a little bit of pressing movements, if you happen to use this for pressing, this is better. It's better. Rotating sleeves are better than non-rotating sleeves. So, yeah, I would say go ahead and buy this bar. The only reason I would say, um, the only legitimate reason I can think of not to buy this bar and to buy the Elite Bar instead is if you want to... Um, give credit to the original idea holder. So if you are concerned that, well, Elite Fitness or William Strength, who I think is who makes that bar, but I'm not certain, um, hey, this was their original idea and they're still making this in the USA, uh, I'm gonna pay you $400 because of that. I think that's a perfectly legitimate reason. Uh, this is just as good of a bar for half the money but it's Chinese, and it's a ripoff of somebody else's idea. Um, presumably not a patent infringement, or else Titan and Bells would be getting sued, but uh, that's a moral decision that you get to make. Anyway, thanks for watching.